All right, guys. In this episode, I'm going to cover paint preparation of the truck cab. Now, you might be saying, Chris, you haven't painted the chassis yet. Why paint the cab? Well, the reason is, is I'm going to be painting it in 2K. I need the weather. I haven't got a booth that's yet. So I'm going to make the most of the, the good weather while it lasts and paint the cab. And it's a lot easier to, to just cover that once it's done. Before I get into that, I'll have to prepare it and strip it down. So I'm going to make a start stripping all the glass out, taking all the handles, things like that off, and then I'll sand the, the cab down. So let's get into it. So the outside of the truck is stripped down. We've only got the bumpers to remove. So I'm gonna move on to the inside of the cab now. There's not a lot to remove here. Basically the, the dash assembly, that's pretty much it. The rest's already been stripped out. Get the gun carriers removed. Uh, seat belts and side panels and the sun visors. I'll get all that stripped out and organized and then give it a bit of a clean out and then it's on to the sanding of the whole thing. So let's crack on with that.
There's the general light working its way into the surface rust on the front panel. We want to make a start cleaning back all the interior surfaces inside the truck. We're covered in dust off being sat around in here for God knows how long. And obviously they're probably not being cleaned since they were new. So I'm going to give all these panels a wipe down just to get the first thick layer of dirt off. And then I'll get into sanding them all back, preparing them for paint. So I've wiped this section and the far section down with just some soapy water. There's still a bit of dirt in here and everything, but I'll get hoovered out. I was just basically cutting through the, the first thick layer of dirt. Once I did that, I then went around all of the seams with the brush. And there was some, some, still some seams that were showing some signs of rust bleed, a little bit of surface rust from over the years. So I've wire brushed them with a grinder took the top layer of paint off and got the surface rust out and then I put it went in with the same rust treatment that I'm using on the front and that's what you can see it's currently take set here I'll let that dry in I'll keep agitating it as it dries and then I'll give it another wipe down and then I'll get onto the, the scuffing layer to scuff it all in ready for primer so I'll let that dry in and move back to the front panel now and start scuffing up that So the Genelite's had some time to react. You can see all of the darker spots are cleared out, back to clean metal. There's a bit of white residue showing that's where it's worked. So what I'm gonna do now is take the DA and around the bare metal areas, I'm going to hit it with 80 grit, take it back, get it all cleaned right up. And then I'll go over the full surface with 180 grit on both sides. While I'm doing that, I'll probably 180 grit the whole inside of the bonnet area so that it gets keyed up well enough for the primer to adhere to. Unfortunately, that's where I've got to end this episode. I had uh, camera troubles painting the interior of the cab. Um, all the footage got corrupted for whatever reason. I think I ran out of storage on my phone. Not great, makes us wish I had a proper filming setup so I had redundant uh, memory slots and all the rest of it but maybe I'll invest in that in the future nonetheless I think it's a good point to end the first part of this series um, there's probably going to be another one or, or two videos on the paint because um, it goes quite in depth in the next um, sets of recordings uh, so yeah, I'll, on the exterior I'll take you through all of the grit stages um, preparing the flat in um, the cleaning up um, how to put your base coat on your clear coat if you're doing a, a multi-stage paint like I was and yeah um, that's that's about it really uh, I'm not sure the color just yet I'll make you wait till the next video but I'll give you a bit of a hint it's a Land Rover color and it's a quite recent one so uh, if you want to get guessing uh, put it in the comments below uh, please like, share, hit the notification bell, uh, subscribe. Uh, you know, I'm starting to get a little bit of a following going. I'd love to make it bigger. Uh, that comes from you guys. So if you can share it about and uh, subscribe, that'll be amazing. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. I'll uh, 
see you then bye